Well, hello everybody, and welcome to the video and welcome to my channel. Are you struggling with inconsistent shots? Are you hitting fat shots, thin shots, toed shots, heeled shots? Well, the problem may be that you don't have control of the low point to your golf swing. And that's something that we have to do. We have to know where that club is going to bottom out, where the swing is going to bottom out. We have to make sure that our golf club is striking the ground in the proper place on every single swing. So in today's video, I'm going to show you two of my favorite drills that I use with my students to get them to learn to control the low point of their swing. And I'm just going to talk to you as well about where that low point should be. So let's jump right into this video and let's go to work. What do I mean by you don't have control of the low point of your golf swing? And what is the low point? Well, let's start off by defining the low point. The club head in a golf swing swings on an arc. It's a big arc traveling down, then eventually it's gonna reach a bottom and then it's gonna start going back up. Now we need to know where that bottom is. And for us right-handed golfers, I wanna show you. It's opposite of your left armpit. Now, why is it opposite of your left armpit? Because of the way we hold the club. The left hand is the hand that's on top. Then we have our right hand. So the longest lever in the golf swing is from our left shoulder to the club head. It's longer than from our right shoulder to the club head by that far. So therefore by physics and science, where that lever is attached to my body, which is at my left armpit, that is where the bottom of the arc wants to occur. So the first thing we have to do in a golf swing is, where is that left armpit? It's gonna be right there. We then want our ball position to be slightly behind that low point, which would be about right there, which is what I always say to people, about two inches inside your left heel. Now, I as a golfer have to now go figure out how to make my golf club hit that proper low point every swing. And if I can learn to make my golf club hit the low point every single swing, well then I have a really great chance of hitting a solid golf shot. Now, I'm gonna show you two drills today. First one is gonna be my absolute favorite drill to get my students to do. And we're then going to move out to the driving range and I'm going to show you another drill that you can do while hitting golf balls. So let's go get to my favorite drill. Here I am in my favorite place to get my students to learn how to hit the low point of their golf swing. It's not very glamorous. This is actually our practice bunker that's either in some state of disrepair or some state of repair. I can't figure out which one it is. Um, they came in here last year and regraded it and did all the stuff, but I think they had trouble getting sod and it's on the schedule somewhere to get completed. But in the meantime, it works purpose. It works perfectly for the purpose that I want my students to use it. And you guessed it. If you've watched any of, of my other videos, we're not involving a golf ball here. All I want my student to do is come down here and focus their whole attention 100% on where their club is striking the ground. And here's a little drill. I get them to take their golf club and just draw a little rectangle in the sand. And I'm gonna bring you down in here closer in just a minute and give you a good close-up view of this. But here's the long range view. I then get them to set up with their club right on the back of the box. And all I want them to do is make some nice slow golf swings, learning to let their golf club hit the sand in that box. Now, you'll be amazed. I'll get students down here and they'll make 10, 15 swings in a row and their club will never touch the sand. Or they make swings in a row and they keep hitting three, four, five inches behind that box. And yeah, the last thing is they're always going too hard. So they have to slow down, they have to pay attention to the box, and then I will direct them and give them the things to do in their body and in their pivot to get the low point of the golf swing occurring in the proper place. 
Let me show you a close up and then I'm gonna tell you, talk to you a little bit about the pivot. All right, so here's a little close up. And again, I'm just gonna have them draw a little rectangle in the sand. I'm gonna get them to put their club on the back of the rectangle because the ball would be sitting right there. And then I want them going slow, making swings, and hitting the, hitting the sand inside that rectangle. And I want them to do it over and over and over again. Well, what are the main causes for my students not being able to hit the ground in the proper place? And it's, it's typically two, but they, they go hand in hand. And the first one is, it's, they don't have a good pivot. And I know y'all will watch a bunch of my videos and I talk about the pivot all the time, but it is so, so important. And especially if you're gonna have, if you want your club to hit the ground in the proper place all the time, you have to have a proper pivot. That person that they, their club never hits the ground, they're probably coming out of their posture a little bit. It's what y'all might call standing up, but their posture doesn't, they don't maintain their posture while they're making a pivot. That person that hits the ground behind the ball all of the time, their pivot is not going forward. Their pivot, their left shoulder is moving up and backwards, which is making the bottom of the golf swing move back into their stance. So if you want the golf club to hit the ground in the proper place, you have to have a really good pivot. It's got to move into the right foot and then move back into the left foot. The other big cause that I see of people not being able to hit the ground in the proper place is that they use their hands too much in the golf swing. And a lot of times when they're using their hands too much, it's a result of a bad pivot, but that's the ones that they use their hands too much and that club gets outside the box. Their, their club is bottoming out, outside the ball. They're running the hosel more into the ball. They'll sometimes they take it and they throw it down and inside and they'll hit the inside of the box or inside of it. And those would be people that catch that ball on the toe. So this is a fantastic drill. Get away from the golf ball, focus 100% of your attention on where your club is striking the ground. And once you get very good at it and you're consistent and your club hits the ground in the same place all the time, then add a golf ball. Now let's go to the driving range and I'm gonna show you my favorite drill out there. The way I like to get my students to practice on the range is with a very simple practice station and all you need is a towel. And I like to get the towel kind of just rolled up. It doesn't have to be a perfect roll. And then I'm gonna put the towel on the ground aimed at a target. Now, here comes the nice little trick to it. I'm gonna take about the back third of the towel and I'm gonna make a little 90 degree angle. So I've created half of a rectangle. Let me bring you up here close and show you. So here's what the station looks like. Again, it's just a 90 degree angle in a towel. Now, I'm gonna take my golf ball and I'm gonna place it up against the towel so that I have a tiny bit of clearance from the toe of my club to the towel. So what are these, what's this towel, what's this towel doing for me? Well, this part out here is ensuring that I don't get my club outside the ball. If I get outside the ball, I'm obviously gonna hit that towel. I have to make sure that my club is coming down on the correct path in order to miss that towel. So this part of the towel back here makes it to where I can't get my club to bottom out too soon. It's going to solve the fat shots. If my club is coming down and I use my hands too much or, or my body is moving backwards and, and the bottom of the swing is moving backwards, I'm going to hit that part of the towel. So all I want my students to do is set this station up and hit golf balls, missing the towel. Well, why do I like this practice station so much? Because it gives instant feedback. 
and it's it, it gets your brain to start kind of working in our favor a little bit you're not going to stand here and keep hitting this towel back here so if you're a person that that left shoulder is going up and back you have a little reverse pivot your brain is going to say hey we got to miss that towel and it's going to force you to move forward into your left foot if you keep getting outside the ball with your hands and you keep hitting the towel out here your brain's going to say hey i don't want to do that so it just it's it's it, it's a, a practice station that's kind of in our way a little bit if you have one of these flaws and it just makes you do something different so again i just want to get set up Make nice, easy swings, miss the towel in the back, miss the towel outside. Stand there and hit solid shots. Well, I wanna thank you for coming in and checking in on my video. I hope these two drills will help you. Um, if you do them properly, I know they're going to help you. And if you're, a if you're a golfer that has trouble hitting the ground, go figure out how to hit the ground in the proper place. You, you, you just got to get your mind off the ball and say, okay, this is my number one task at hand. And it shouldn't take you too long. So find yourself a place where you can make swings without a ball and hit the ground in a box. And then when you go to hit golf balls, use the practice station that I just showed you. Both of them are going to help you become a better ball striker and improve your golf game. Again, thanks for coming in and checking in my video. Uh, if you've never subscribed to my channel, please do. It helps me out a lot. And if you try these video, these drills and it helps, give me a comment below. I'd love to hear how it worked. Thanks a lot, and y'all have a great day.